Hey guys, my name is Taylor Maloney and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to do my top September favourite. Yes, can you believe it is October? I think I hear that in everyone's like monthly favourites. They always say, I can't believe it's this month, but like seriously, it's like two months away to Christmas and holy moly so much to do so little time let's get straight into this video because i've got a few things i want to show you so the first two things are two that's four two things are beauty related i do not buy a lot of beauty things anymore because i rarely wear any makeup i will literally use the crap out of my makeup until it's completely finished because i am a mum now i don't like to spend money on myself so i ended up picking up these i put these in like one of my first vlogs these two items they're from the simple brand so this one is an exfoliating uh face wipe so i only use these when i take my makeup off and they're literally like huge like the sheets are huge and because they're exfoliating they've got this um bit of a roughness to it so you feel like it really gets into your pores cleans you out and then after i get out of the shower i put this on my face i love this this will probably be like a bible to me in my beauty regime which i don't really have one i don't like creams that you put on your face and it just feels really yuck and gross and you just feel like you need to have a nice shower this doesn't do that and yeah i only picked these up they're on sale for five bucks but i think generally they're pretty cheap as so the next thing is a clothing item i picked this up probably what a week ago and it's only from kmart it's a yellow dress it goes probably for on me above my knees and it sits there and then it's got a off the shoulder sleeve um i'll link my instagram below i do have a photo of myself in it. it's hard to show now I love that dress. It's actually the first dress that I've brought for like summer that is above the knees. I used to be, well I am, a bigger girl. So every summer I wore tights, dresses and cardigans to cover up. Yesterday I wore that and it was really refreshing to be somewhat comfortable in a dress in the heat so the next thing is my 2.2 liter bottle of water you can pick these up from probably any supplement shop i just bought this from supplement warehouse i paid 12.95 for this and i thought that's a really good deal it's a bpa free bottle i tend to see these bottles $20 above and i was expecting to pay $20 above i know rebel sell them for uh, $20 above but yeah I use this all the time um, when I'm home I normally just take I just drink it like that because I tend to get more water out of there and my goal is to drink one of these by lunchtime so the next three things I'm a mum so I'm going to throw in some mummy products baby products so the first baby products are these two creams so this one is a bath cream and it's a sleep time one so it's got a bit of lavender in it and this one is just a baby lotion. I went to Baby Buntings because I picked up a box of Huggy Nappies because they're only $40 for $108 I'm pretty sure and these were 25% off so I wanted to try it. Holy crap this is also like a lotion that doesn't feel yuck on her skin. Over a month ago she just had hand foot and mouth and it literally dried up her feet that they were starting to peel and they're still peeling now but since i've used this cream it's sort of um moisturized it and gone deep and she's only got a little bit of peeling left and this was only about nine dollars i think i paid for it yeah so i will be getting that and i do want to try the other thank you stuff in their brand and then yeah this one i put in her bath before daylight saving she has been struggling to go to sleep and i find if i put the lavender in her bath and i used to do this when she was a baby it's supposed to make them sleepy so conjoining these two together so i'll put that in her bath and then when i dry her i will massage her she while i'm massaging her she's like rubbing her eyes she's ready to go to bed yes yeah, so i highly highly recommend these so my next baby item are these baby shoes these shoes are from country road and they were roughly i think 50 dollars uh, i feel like zenday needs a lot of support around her ankles because i do see when she walks one leg goes in a little bit so when i found these shoes and they're like a pastel pink so i don't know if you can really tell but yeah it's 
there we go when i saw these shoes when she was about six months i've i got them for her but in a smaller size so she's gone up a size that's how much i love them that i actually got them in the size up so my favorite tv show at the moment or movie etc is um on netflix i just recently watched the documentary of lady gaga and holy moly that was amazing i've always liked lady gaga and but just like not like a fanatic fan still not a fanatic fan but like i would go see her in concert but i cried so much during that documentary i thought it was just well oh it just presented so well it was her struggle of like the boat like she's been having a lot of pain in her body uh, just emotional after a um, breakup with her fiance and then doing the super bowl at the same time so it was just a very whirlwind of emotions and i was sitting on the couch bawling my eyes out and it was like the time of the month too so it was probably the wrong time to watch it i thought it was great and if you like documentaries i really highly recommend that one another show that i highly recommend is younger i started that series maybe oh, a few months ago and i watched it straight through and then now if you're in australia you can watch it on stan and i have stan because i only watch it for younger and power and then now will and grace did you all watch Will and Grace? Did you like it? I was actually just a bit off topic. I was really worried that they make remakes of the show or movies. It tends not to be good. I actually really liked it. I saw that there was a lot of negative reviews on it. And because of all like the Donald Trump and all the political stuff, I actually thought it was quite funny. Jack is life. Like, oh, I love Jack. But yeah, I grew up on Will and Grace. And yeah, I quite enjoyed it. So yeah, so Stan has... Will and Grace, Power and Younger. The only thing that sucks about Younger, they're only like 20 minute episodes and it freaking annoys the crap out of me. And then you have to wait a whole week for another 20 minute episode. I do wish they made the episodes longer. So I am going to throw in my favorite YouTuber of the month. And that is Danielle Hallen. I think that's how you say her last name, but I've mentioned her before. She is a youtube channel dedicated to missing people crimes she'll go tell you details and her theories and a lot of um just a lot of crime cases i'm very into that stuff on netflix i've probably watched 98 percent of all the crime documentaries on there but i really enjoy her videos i think she does one or two a week i'll link her channel below and make sure you check her out because she's so good i pretty sure she's from america and she's got two kids and i nearly did two kids again two no taylor two far out so this video is going to be very short to the point and i hope you liked it please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel i just want to say thank you so much i have reached my second goal did it i did it my second goal of 60 subscribers now i want to get up to maybe let's do 80 subscribers come on let me get there i'm hoping i can get up to 100 by the end of the year or 100 by my birthday so that's next march and yes i hope you like this video and i'll see you in my next vlog bye guys Angel, Angel.